Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to watch Twitch on your Steam Deck. So if you like watching these people stream and play video games, well, there's a couple different ways that you can do this. So I have Firefox right here built into game mode. I add it as a non-Steam game. I could simply just go to twitch.com or twitch.tv, access that way. Otherwise, we can see if there's an application for Twitch. So here's FreeTube. This is an open source YouTube application. But let's go to Steam, go on down to Power. And let's switch on over to the desktop mode right here. If this is your first time switching to the desktop mode, it's probably gonna take about 10 seconds to switch on over. You'll see this cool little steam symbol. And boom, now it's gonna freeze a little bit on you. So it's gonna pause. And we wanna go on down to the discover folder down here, software center, and this is the app store. So I'm gonna pause for a second, give it a second to recover. Then at the top, we should be able to see like Firefox. We can just go and download that. And I'll show you how to add it to game mode. But we can go up to search here and we can see if there's any Twitch applications. Maybe there will be some in the future. So we can just type in Twitch and then press enter. Now, uh, if you want to bring up the keyboard, press Steam plus X at the same time. So look through here, uh, chat client for twitch.tv. I don't see any Twitch clients right now. Display active streams from channels following on Twitch. Okay, so I have uh, Twitch indicator right there, and it only has like two or three reviews or seven total. So we could try installing this, but it looks like this might just be like a chat thing here. So nothing great or anything like that. So what we would probably want to do, there might be something in the future that gets popped open on here. So just go ahead and download um, Internet Explorer, uh, what is it, what is this, uh, Chrome or Firefox, and then we can just access it through here. So we can go to twitch.tv. I'll show you how to get this in the game mode too. And then press enter. And it's going to just be like your standard internet browser where you're going to want to bookmark it here. So it looks like I favored it. I can go up here and bookmark it. So I always have it saved. And you might want to add it to the bottom. I can't remember how to do this without a keyboard. But we got bookmarks and lists. Bookmark this tab. So usually I just add it to the bottom here so I can always access it. Now what we want to do is go back here and go to Steam. And open this up and go to add non-Steam game. So add game, add non-Steam game. And then locate Firefox or whatever internet browser you're using, Chrome. And then select it and go to add selected programs. And this will add it to the game mode. So we can go back now. Go to game mode right here and then we can open up Twitch through just the internet browser in the game mode. So we're going to want to go to the library and then go to non-steam games and then we can open it up. So it takes a little bit longer when you switch back over to the game mode for some reason versus going to the desktop mode. I don't know if we're going from two different resolutions or whatnot but here's my uh, animated video I bought with steam points. Uh, yeah, I think you get like a hundred thousand if you buy the Steam Deck, so you can buy a bunch of different like sharp animations and stuff, or stuff for your profile. Very cool. So let's go to Steam now. Go down to the library. And then at the top, press R1 until you get to non-Steam games. And then here is Firefox. We can open this up and go to play. And then we can just, you know, access any kind of website we want, you know. Just be uh, just go to the top here and open up your keyboard and it doesn't seem like this one is staying up so you maybe try <laughs> google chrome so there we go we can type in twitch now so if we can get it up there so this one doesn't seem to be working very appropriately so maybe try uh try google chrome so let's go back to that one i had it up before here it is a uh, google chrome and here we go, magnify tool. Okay, got that. So this is still Firefox. Why is Firefox open? Here's Google Chrome. Boom. Steam plus X keyboard. Uh, so let's go back here. Otherwise, if you have a keyboard uh, attached to your dock, twitch.tv, I was just there, perfect. Remember that. Press R2 and it should go on over to the Twitch website now where you can start watching your live streams. 
And I don't, I'm not sure if I'm connected to the internet. Oh, actually I am. It's just really, really slow for some reason. I must be downloading something. You can sign in. Uh, you got the little favorite icon right there. And I can't remember how to bring down my bookmarks so they display. I think the, the shortcut key is like what? Shift plus uh, Alt and N or something at the same time where we can get our bookmarks to show underneath the URL. I can't remember how to do that, but that's how I have it set up on my PC. Shook, uh, here it is, Control Shift plus B. Boom. And I believe we can just take Twitch and drop and drag it right there. Here's all my bookmarks. So I got Twitch under there. I don't know how to do this without a mouse and keyboard. But here's my bookmarks, Twitch, boom, I just go to it. Let's click on something to see if it starts streaming. Here's the, uh, I don't know, Twitch Sports. Is this going to load up? Looks like college football something. So this is working. We got the chat on the right. Is the chat working? Should work. Uh, so it's loading. Maybe there's going to be an ad or something like that popping up. But very easy to watch. And we can go back and then you can sign in. You got the options up here. Log in, sign in. And here's the username. So that looks all good on Linux. Then you can sign up with the new account down here too. And then we can go to browse. Let's try different games. So let's go to the game list. So oh, this looks pretty much similar to what we have on my actual PC. So it's running Linux, I believe. Steam X, uh, Steam OS is Linux. So yeah, it's looking pretty good on here. And let's see if there's donation options under here. We can follow, subscribe. We can see the viewer count, the duration. Uh, what does this do? We can report live stream. Oh, so some of these people like watching. I typically watch like uh, Call of Duty streamers and stuff. But yeah, this is very easy to get, guys. Make sure you just simply add this as a non-Steam game. Um, let's go try one of the, these donation. Let's see if we can do that. So it just opens up stream elements. So if we want to go donate through here, it looks like we can do that too. Any external link that we click on will work too. Uh, here's this YouTube. Let's see if YouTube opens up on here. So I don't know. I don't use Linux all that much. So I'm just kind of curious as I'm doing this. Uh, like I said, you can download like an open source YouTube application through that discover thing. And this is taking a little bit of time for some reason. So I don't know if you have a good internet connection or not. Mine must be really crappy right now. It looks like it's max bars, but it seems like it's a little bit slow sometimes just loading stuff. Maybe I could be downloading something on my Steam Deck. We can check downloads, but hopefully this quick little video did indeed help you guys out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.